Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1888 double florin coin, the coin we see on screen now. Firstly, in today's video I'll talk to you about the design of the coin, and then we'll move on to the facts and figures of this coin. The design on the reverse was done by Leonard Wyon, and features the four crowned cruciform shields. The top two feature the three lines of England, for England of course, the left one features the harp of Ireland for Ireland, and the right one features the lion rampant of Scotland for Scotland. Between these are the four scepters of each country as well. There's two again for England with the royal orb, one with the thistle for Scotland, and then one again with the harp of Ireland for Ireland. Around this is the legend reading Brit Reg Fid Death. This translates to English from the abbreviated Latin to Queen of Britain, Defender of the Faith, titles of Queen Victoria, who we now see on the obverse of the coin. This is the Jubilee head portrait and features the Queen facing to the left wearing a veil and a small crown on top of this. She is also wearing a brooch, necklace and earrings. And the portrait was done by Sir Joseph Edgar Boehm, whose initials can be seen on the truncation of her shoulder. Now then, around her is the legend once again in Latin, reading Victoria di Gratia. This translates to English as Victoria by the grace of God, linking to the divine right of kings and queens on the throne. The coin around the rim features lots of beading or teeth, and this is a measure to prevent clipping of the coin. This has it on both sides and around the rim some reading as well for the same purpose. Now then, as promised, we'll move on to the facts and figures of the 1888 double florin. The coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, also known as 92.5% pure silver or sterling silver as all coins were made out of before 1920 that were looking silver. The weight of the coin is 22.62 grams, double the weight of a florin, as it is a double florin, with a diameter of 36 millimetres, quite a big coin, not much smaller than the crown. The 1888 double florin has a mintage of 243,340, which is quite a low mintage, making it quite a rare coin, but as the double florin wasn't minted for very long, it's also quite common in within its denomination which is a double florin, by the way, 48 pence, or four shillings, or one fifth of a pound sterling. That's how it sort of fit in back to the pre-decimal money system. And back in 1888, when the coin was made, a double florin was equal to 33 pounds, 26 pence today. So a very valuable coin in terms of, you know, purchasing power. And the coin is still legal tender at one fifth of a pound sterling, or in today's money, 20p. So should you spend one? What's the collector value? Well, you shouldn't spend one. Even in poor condition, they sell for £30, £45 in fine condition, £100 in extremely fine condition, and £200 in uncirculated grade with no wear, marks, damage, or dirt on the coin. And so there we go, a great coin with a great design and a great addition to any collection of old silver coins. Please do comment down below if you have any double florins in your collection. And while you're down there commenting, please hit subscribe as well, as that means a lot to us here at Bits and Bobs as does you watching all the way through the video. So a big thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time for more coins on the Bits and Bobs channel. Bye.